Hi, this is Mike from Music Ministry 101. In this video, we're going to practice the psalm for the third Sunday of Easter. I'll play and sing it for you first, and then I have a great, simple, and effective tip for you today. And then we'll do a karaoke version at the end. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe to the channel as well for more videos like this. Download the Cheat Sheet Pack for Church Singers to help you improve vocal technique, sight reading, and other crucial singing skills. I'll post a link in the description below or visit musicministry101.com forward slash cheat sheet for a pack of free cheat sheets to help you sing your best. We'll do the third verse in the karaoke section in just a second. So what I wanted to mention is a tip about the commas and how you can use commas in different ways. There's a few ways that you can use them. First of all, you can take a breath. Second of all, you could not take a breath. Third of all, or third, you could have a bit of time or use it to make, to make an emphasis point of the next thing that you're going to sing. So let me give you some examples. In the first verse, I'm skipping the first comma. I will extol you, O Lord, because I'm taking the next comma. Oftentimes when there are two commas, I'll skip the first one, I'll go right through it, and I'll take the second one. So again, that is, I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear. Okay, so two examples of commas right there. Now, let me give you another example. Um, okay, on the second verse, second line, if you can find a lifetime, his goodwill. What I did when I sang it was a lifetime, his goodwill. So I held out on lifetime. I used the comma to kind of make a bit of a, a hold there. And then I continued after that. So I didn't take a break. I didn't blow right through it. I did something in between. A lifetime, his good will. So those are three approaches that you could use to the commas in any psalm really, but those are my examples for this particular psalm. So I hope that was helpful. You know, if we're really deliberate about how we use these commas, then we can emphasize certain parts of the message. So that's why when I did a lifetime, his goodwill. A lifetime to me is means like held out, right? A whole life, a lifetime. So I'm trying to make more meaning out of it by taking that comma and making that as kind of an extension of a lifetime, his goodwill. So you can see you can play with the meaning and the delivery by using the commas. If you'd like to learn more about how you can use your voice to really reach the congregation, check out my free three-day workshop for church singers. It's completely free and you'll get a different video each day 
emphasizing a certain aspect of vocal technique and performance. Day one is all about using your breath to the best of your ability, improving your breath support. Day two is about English diction and about pronunciation and enunciation, all that good stuff. And day three is about proclaiming the message behind the text in a really, really effective way. So check out that workshop. It's at musicministry101.com slash workshop. The people that take the workshop find improvements in their voice. So go right now to sign up for that free three-day workshop. Also, it's still the Easter season, so I'm offering 60% off of my sight reading course. This course called How to Sight Read Music teaches you everything you need to know about looking at a piece of music and being able to sing it from start to finish just with a starting pitch. So for this one, if you played that note, ba, 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 you could figure out the whole piece using the skill of sight reading. So for that link, go to the comment section or the description below, and it's called Master Sight Reading, so you'll see a link for it in the description below. Now 60% off, by the way, so it's a good time to get it this Easter season. All right, enough of the advertisements. Let's go to a karaoke version of this song. Here we go. We'll do the refrain one time at the beginning. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like the video and also consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed it and have a happy Easter.